In the pines, in the pines where the sun will shiver Hey, I'm Shura, and welcome back to my playthrough of False Pine, where we are reaching the end of this game, or close to it, I suppose. Now, this is a roguelike, so getting towards the end doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be able to finish it in one go. I really have no clue how far away the true end of this game is going to be for me. So once again, thank you to those who continue to watch my playthrough and progress through this game. And if you haven't already, you might want to go and check out the previous videos to see how we got to where we are now. And with all that said, I hope you enjoy this playthrough of False Pine. Welcome back to the town of False Pine. Or well, at least I think that's what this town's called. Not too sure why the... Hunter's camp moved from there to here. Looks like they could even set up over here. Um, I know earlier on, I had the idea that perhaps it's going to move from this spot to here, and then over here as you progress through the game. So I'm not too sure. Also not sure if uh, more things are being built up as we go through. But, Either way, today, we're going to take on the Arid Badlands. Well, not quite yet. Make sure we get prepared. As going in unprepared is the easiest way to die in this game. That and opening your Steam overlay. <laughs> in between the last episode and now, I had another mission to use the Cult Repeater to get those 14 kills without taking damage, and I was able to. And from that, I got the Executioner. Now, I know I haven't been using melee much, but I'm wondering if the game, maybe this next zone, will put us in a situation where we have to use melee. And if it comes to it, this looks like a pretty good weapon. Nine damage compared to the usual six on the axe. So, we have that in our melee slot if we need to use it. I'll actually swap out the Colt Repeater, go back to the Bolt Action Rifle, just waiting to get the Legendary Bolt Action. Hopefully we're able to do so before the end of the game. Uh, if we have to make our way back to the Arab Badlands, I'll look for some more opportunities to pick up Legendaries along the way. <sighs> back out. Into the wild. Well, I don't know how it got so dark out here, seeing how it's so bright at the moment, but, ooh, bugs. My favorite. Oh my lord, it teleported. Oh, and there's more. Oh, not great. Not good. Okay, I think that's the room, Claire. Oh. Well, there's some of the... Uh, was it diamonds? The diamonds I feel kind of confident using melee against, so... These ones are definitely tankier if they take a few more hits. If he's gonna come around this way. Or die before he gets to. Ooh, okay. We better run. It's 
So these ones I think I could probably get melee. Yeah. Make sure to save ammunition where we can. Ooh, this might be another breakable wall. It is. Something I haven't, like, paid too much attention to. I'm generally looking around for the things that stick out in the environment. Okay, now, the big question. All three of these we can make use of. There's rifle damage, pistol damage, and poison damage. I feel like... I want to take rifle damage. I want to be able to just do as much damage as I can with that gun but I think my gut feeling with what seems responsible is the pistol damage so we'll go with that oh oh, oh <laughs> all the bugs Okay, we can take them out, maybe in one hit. The uh, smaller bugs, that is. Okay, so I was thinking it just... Oh, never mind, they are pretty tough. But yeah, with those uh, bugs, I was surprised. They, they jump on every shot, so maybe I am better to use the rifle. Again, oh my lord, that is a lot of bugs. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just think about how I'm going to take this area. We have that exploding barrel over there. And we have this one, which I think we could get most of those coming through. Okay, well, time to use some fire. Ooh, okay, that's our first uh, bit of damage being taken here. Oh. My. It is overhead. I'm waiting. Okay, lots of bugs up there. Anything down here? We might be able to leave them past this. There's this one as well to set off, so maybe this is best. Especially with that. That thing. We're not going to have to know what that does just yet, but still a lot more ahead. I think we took a bit of damage from the explosion, but should be fine, hopefully. Oh, I hear some whispering. Our first journal entry on the Omen. Diary of Celia Kepler. A stream of lightning, fucking lightning, hit the top of the carriage. Andy Harris and Molly were gone in an instant. I don't know how it didn't see me, but I'm leaving my diary here in case it gets me on the trip home. Never been much for religion, but I'll keep praying. Kind of thinking that um, sometimes these journals might belong to the corpses they're next to. Bugs up there. Some down here. We might be able to take these out right now. Like so. Oh, shit. Yeah, I knew that bite at my heels. some more up there. Okay, so far, I don't think I'm having too much trouble with this area, but I think that's a lot that it's quite open and easy to see the enemies here compared to the marshes. Okay, this is 
Pretty much a straight lane. Make it over there? I see, uh, Silva. What else is waiting for us? I see something flying, I think. Uh, oh, no shadows just flickering. Oh, my. We haven't had to rarely deal with one of those yet, and I kind of hope it stays that way. Okay, so we already made it up to the boss, but... Hmm. I don't think it's smart to go in on our first try. Ooh, and we can get more pistol damage. At the silver, and I think we will head home. We don't know enough about what's ahead. And I I'm this far in the game that I think usually I would, I would love to go in there. <laughs> But I am this far in the game, but if I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna go in there prepared, okay? Okay, so as we make our first attempt, hopefully, at this omen boss. Well, our pistol is sitting at 23.65 damage. Which, once again, I compared it previously to that it was stronger than our Lieber action rifle we had. It's not quite as strong as the bolt action rifle, but if you consider the rate of fire, I'm pretty sure this gun is. Then again, it is a legendary on top of that. Ooh, that damage on a single shot. It is pretty cool to see the progression of how far we've come. I'm trying to get the least amount of attention as possible. Ah, uh, then the sand. Okay, I don't think this is going to be the run. Uh, it seems like we might get a bit more information though. I heard something that way. Over here. We are low on health. I've made some bad... Some bad plays. I've taken a bit too much damage, so... I think I'm going to have to head back. Like, I would like the 5% bonus, but I really have no clue what to expect, especially after the tree. How that went. Oh no, we failed. Okay. Got stuck on the environment. But, as I said, I wasn't... Wasn't too confident on making it... Okay, it just keeps giving us talismans there. Um... So I guess we'll keep taking them. Hmm. Definitely always best to take that out with that. Oh, unless it jumps. Ancient Pagan Prayer. A cry of thunder howled in conquest. The sky split asunder, the heavens her nest. Above the chitinous swarm, her avarice without measure. In tow, a loyal storm called at her leisure. With a shriek from on high, she descends empowered. Last to be heard, her cry before being devoured. Well, isn't that just ominous? That look 
looks uh, bigger than usual. Okay. There we go. Well, we ha we're not going to kill it uh, without taking any damage, but... Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Do we have a new journal entry, or was that the one? I wish we had more clues. <laughs> I see it. I see it in the corner. Well, it's probably just waiting for me to take a step. Mm-hmm. Oh, my... Oh, wrong gun. Oh, he took some damage. Don't know if that's reaching it. I need to be really careful with uh, timing. <laughs> you want to snipe with me? I think I pushed F instead of G. I need to be careful about that. It's not my intention, but it's kind of hard to do what I intend to do. Oh no. Okay. It's probably gonna land somewhere. One shot left. That might be a mistake. I reloaded without, um, to our last med kit as well. I knew it would be a tougher fight. I knew. <laughs> Even with our gun, as far as we got it. Hmm. We got pretty close. But I think, uh... Not keeping our calm and... Maybe if we had one more med kit, we would have made it through. Also, if I didn't waste my fire, I threw some of my fire, uh... Just on the environment. I was definitely a bit uh, nervous, but now that we've fought it once, hopefully I can go back into it a bit more confident. Get back to it. And that's the thing with this game. You live, you learn. Or more so, you die, you learn. <laughs> well, the obituary... <clears throat> 
excuse me, the obituary is a new weapon. Let's see what it is. And there it is. <laughs> oh my, how I waited for this. How I... <laughs> the amount of legendaries I've had in this game and the amount of duplicate legendaries. But now, I've at least got this, which is already dealing 46 damage. The plus six coming from the talisman we just picked up. But, uh, I'll get ready to head back in and we'll see if we can get the... Oh, but Brightmoor without taking any damage. I'll quickly put the, uh, taboo on. <laughs> get that sorted. This is good. This is a good run. Um, we might not have the rattlesnake, but we do have the obituary and the executioner. Okay, so let's see what this can do. Yeah, I need to check the range on it. 30. I wonder if that's the same. 75 damage. Wow. Not sure if it reloads longer. I couldn't see the damage there, but... That first shot was definitely impressive. Yeah, it's hitting for 70 pretty consistently. <laughs> Which is more than it says it does, so... Surprised. 80! <laughs> oh, I love the sniper. I think one thing I'm noticing is I really need a sidearm to balance uh, the need for... Um, Ammunition, a rifle. Like, it's doing fine now, but I don't know if it's going to be enough in a boss fight. Oh no, I'm stuck there. The Dustman is. 17.49 damage. Doesn't seem like too much because then you compare it to something like the obituary that hits for 69, pretty much 70 damage. And I know it can do more because it was already doing more before I got another rifle damage upgrade. So maybe it could do around 90. I guess uh, we'll have to see. Unfortunate we don't have a better sidearm. But let's see, that's 15 ammo and we'd be down to seven or even six potentially. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> but the damage goes up to 87.5 pretty much. Let's actually go in and test that. Probably one shot these now. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, 130, I think I saw. <laughs> the pistol does like nothing in comparison. <laughs> we rarely need a bad pistol, but I don't think we can get one. Well, it's more than enough to one-shot most enemies. I mean, we were already doing that. <laughs> 150. I was just kind of interested to see how much it would do. I didn't realize we have finished the journal for the Omen. There we are, 5% damage. The final entry. No, I feel like we got that one already. What goes bump in the night? Unless this is a new... <laughs> oh, still got to show him that title. 
Reports of attacks in the arid badlands have led to the common belief that a monster made the location its hunting grounds. Well, I believe it. There's enough of those horrible giant invertebrates running about for it to snack on. I'll have to make this sighting a quick one. A cow practically incinerated. The beast could possibly weaponize fire. Thunder during a clear day. I could hardly, hardly believe it. But without a cloud in the sky, I definitely heard it. Hard to say if it's a sign or even a cult. I'm unsure if it's safe to leave. But I fear the invertebrates might take cover here as well. So I'll make my exit. Surprise this man is still alive to write about it. I hope what we've got with us is going to be enough. Oh. 